We just saw four different elements and their reaction with water. But what causes one element to be different from others? To answer this question, we need to realize that the entire universe and all of the physical components within it are made of matter. Matter is defined as anything that occupies space and has mass. On Earth, matter is found in three physical states. Matter can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Water, a chemical compound, can be found in all three of these states on the surface of the planet. This matter is made of elements. There are 92 naturally occurring elements making up the matter of our planet. We can think of elements as the building blocks of matter. They are the simplest, purest forms of matter, as they cannot be broken down into anything simpler through chemical reactions. The atom is the smallest unit of an element that still retains the properties of that element. Another way of thinking about this is to realize that each element has its own type of atoms. This returns us to our original question. What causes one element to be different from others? Even though atoms are the smallest units of an element, there are smaller particles that make up atoms. We call these subatomic particles, and they are found in three types. Protons are subatomic particles that have a positive electrical charge. Electrons are subatomic particles that have a negative electrical charge and are much smaller in mass than protons. Neutrons are subatomic particles that are similar in mass to protons, but have no electrical charge at all. Different elements have atoms with different numbers of subatomic particles. When we look at the organization of an atom, the protons and neutrons are found together in a dense central cluster known as the nucleus. The word nucleus means center or core. The electrons are not found in the nucleus of the atom, but instead are found moving rapidly around the nucleus in shells. When an element is in its purest form and has not participated in any chemical reactions, then the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. This also means that atoms in their natural state are electrically neutral because the number of negatively charged electrons is balanced by the number of positively charged protons. Scientists really like to organize things in meaningful ways, and elements are no exception. The elements have been organized into what is called the periodic table of elements. The periodic table gives us a few very important pieces of information about each element. We are given the element symbol, the atomic number, and the mass number. The atomic number is the number of protons found within the atomic nucleus of this element. This determines the identity of the element, with each element having a different atomic number. The mass number of an atom is the sum of the protons and neutrons within the nucleus of that atom. The mass of the electrons is not considered in the mass number because they are so much smaller than the mass of the other particles. It is possible to have multiple atoms of the same element with different mass numbers. These are called isotopes. The atomic number of an element, the number of protons, will not change between its isotopes, so the difference in mass number between isotopes comes from differing numbers of neutrons. Carbon is a great example of this, with three naturally occurring isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14, which each have six protons and six electrons, but six, seven, and eight neutrons, respectively. Here are a few questions to see if you understood the concepts presented in this video. You'll be able to answer these actual questions on the Web Campus page for this course for credit. How many elements make up the naturally occurring matter of the planet? Is it 4, 25, 92, 156, or there are millions of different elements? Which of the following subatomic particles are negatively charged? Protons, electrons, neutrons. All of the above are negatively charged, or only B and C. Isotopes of an element vary in their 
number of protons, number of neutrons, atomic number, mass number, both B and D.